We're rolling into a new month, and it's feeling like spring for now, but with that comes the chance of some severe weather to end the week. Welcome to the Bluegrass Weather Report. I'm meteorologist Shane Smith. It is Wednesday, March 1st, 2023. We have now entered the third month of the year, friends, as most of you are watching this video. So welcome, and let's talk about what the weather's doing as we roll into March. And uh, it's coming in like a lamb. Uh, we're seeing calm weather across the bluegrass right now. Warm front's about to lift into the region. They've got snow across the upper Midwest, some uh, storms and snow out towards California again. But here in Kentucky, we're nice and dry. But that warm front's going to bring us some really warm temperatures today. Back into the 70s for most of the state. However, by the end of the day, that may spark off a few showers and thunderstorms. So let's check this out. Taking a look at the North American Mesoscale model, and you will see that showers will develop late today. Watch that time right in here. 3 o'clock Central Time, we're dry. We go towards 6 o'clock. Showers cross the Ohio River by 9 o'clock. They're from Bowling Green to Louisville up towards Cincinnati. Uh, moving through the bluegrass in South Central Kentucky by midnight Central Time, 1 o'clock East Coast Time. And continuing through Eastern Kentucky, through the morning hours and it looks like some showers will linger into Thursday morning in southern Kentucky uh, south of Highway 80 and the Howe Rogers and Louis B. Nunn Cumberland Parkways then Thursday evening round two of rain moves in as another warm front crosses the state and then round three comes sometime on Friday likely morning western Kentucky afternoon eastern Kentucky and that's when we could see a line of strong to severe thunderstorms develop and cross the state. And here's what has me concerned, friends. We're going to take a look at shear. Shear is the difference in wind speed, in this case, from the surface of the atmosphere up to 500 millibars or about 15,000 feet. And notice those reds indicating upwards of 80 knots of shear. Now, shear is a key ingredient in severe weather. It's that difference in wind speed and direction. If there is a difference in wind speed between the upper atmosphere and the lower atmosphere, when you get updrafts and then downdrafts and thunderstorms, those downdrafts can carry that wind energy from the upper atmosphere down. That's what gives us straight line winds. Well, there is quite a bit of shear and quite a bit of wind energy with this system on Friday. We're going to roll the NAM back a little bit and watch as Friday morning these winds come in. 50 plus mile per hour wind gust, 3 a.m. Paducah, 56 in Bowling Green at 6 a.m. Central Time. Near 50 in Lexington and Somerset in London by 9 a.m. and then more winds through the afternoon. Now that's outside of thunderstorms. A thunderstorm will drag even more wind down and because of that parts of southeastern Kentucky already under a day four severe weather outlook uh, as I record this Tuesday night 15% chance well, I'll post the new update uh, when it comes out later today as we'll get into day three range and start getting the classical slight marginal enhanced categories wouldn't surprise me if at least part of the state ends up in a slight risk for Friday and it could be even more than that it's all going to depend on the timing and track of this low and there is some differences in the models look here at the GFS it's bringing that line of storms in here this is 8 a.m. Friday 11 a.m. 1 p.m. and notice that low just off to our northwest at 980 millibars the stronger that low and the closer it is to us the better the chance of severe weather the European model is a little bit slower. Check how it plays this system out. This is 8 a.m. Friday, 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m. Notice it's slower and a little bit farther west. The slower aspect of it is a little concerning to me. If it does come in late afternoon, into eastern Kentucky instead of early afternoon, that's going to allow us to heat up a little more. That may give us a better chance at severe weather. And then next week, friends, watch these temperatures drop. We're back to the 60s for Monday and Tuesday next week. 
and then the bottom falls out. We're back into the 40s with lows into the 20s, so winter may not be done with us just yet. So, to recap the forecast, a really nice Wednesday, rain late in the day. Two rounds of showers Thursday, one in the morning, one in the evening. Friday, the severe weather threat, and even without severe weather, gusty winds in excess of 50 miles per hour. Again, it's like the fourth or fifth wind-driven storm we've had in the last couple of weeks across the state. And with it, once again, comes the threat of severe weather. And as we enter severe weather season, it is a great time, if you don't have one already, to pick up a weather radio. I've got a link down in the description below for a Midland weather radio. It's a great system. You can program it just to get warnings for your county. And it's a great way to keep your family safe in severe weather. So give that a look and possibly invest in one of that. And just a disclaimer, if you do order off that link, I do get a small commission from that. But I do appreciate it because every bit helps keeping the channel running. And speaking of keeping the channel running... Thank you guys to all the subscribers we've had. We've gained over 75 subscribers so far this year here at the Bluegrass Weather Report, and I am so thankful for each and every one of you who tune in and watch my forecast. If you haven't done that yet, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. It helps us to get this video out to more people to get this information around, and it helps keep things running around here. So be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to get the latest forecast. And I'll have some more updates as we track the potential of severe weather for the end of this week. So until next time, friends, take care and stay weather aware. Bye. Woo.